Hi, I'm Preston DeGuys, and in today's demo, I'm going to step you through the process of updating PowerProtect Data Manager from version 19.11 to version 19.12. Once the update is running, I'll spend a little time talking about some of the new features in Data Manager 19.12. Okay, so let's get started. I've already downloaded the update package from the Dell support site, so I'll go to the settings menu and choose software update. Within the software update panel, I can upload the update package to PowerProtect Data Manager. Now the upload may take a few minutes depending on your network connectivity, and note that some browsers may not support uploading files larger than two gigabytes. So Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome will be the best here. Once the update package has been uploaded, PowerProtect Data Manager will perform some initial processing on the package. This processing has to complete before you can proceed with the update. Now, you don't have to stay on this page while the processing takes place. Instead, you can cancel the software update screen and come back later. Once that initial package processing is complete, you can either start the install, which will run the pre-check, or run the pre-check by itself. Now the pre-check will let you know if there's anything happening on the system that will either block the update, or that you should be aware of before running the update. Now in this case I'll get a warning that I may have some jobs running, which I should allow to complete before the update runs, and I'll go and handle that and then come back in to the update process. Okay, so now I've got my job sorted out and it's okay for me to run the install option. As you'd expect, the install option will run the pre-check again, but this time I'll be okay to proceed. Once the pre-check is complete, I'll review last minute information and agree to having a snapshot taken of the data manager environment before proceeding to accept the end user license agreement and starting the actual update. Now the snapshot is taken at the start of the process so that it can roll itself back if there are any issues during the update. Right, now that the update is running, I'll go over a few of the new features in Data Manager 19.12. Starting with databases. Now if you've got VM Tools 11.x or later, you can now configure and perform VM Direct backups and restores using domain or local user accounts with UAC enabled. That includes local user access through SQL Server Management Studio for self-service restores. Table level recovery for application-based SQL backups are now supported as well on Windows 2022. Oracle Data Guard environments get support. Each node gets its own asset and you can even do centralized protection. There are also enhancements to relocated Oracle recoveries to keep the original DB ID and in Oracle Rack environments, you can now set a preferred node to use for centralized backups. Integration with SmartScale continues apace, with support now available for preparing Data Manager for a mobile storage unit to be moved between system pool members. While I'm talking PowerProtect DD, Data Manager now supports Retention Lock Compliance Mode in addition to Governance Mode which has, it has supported for quite some time. 
The vSphere bundle installation process supports concurrent updates for up to 25 ESXi hosts now and has some efficiencies added for when the VIB is uploaded based on shared data stores. And still on the VMware side of the house, the Transparent Snapshot Data Mover, or TSDM, can now support up to 20 concurrent backup and restore operations per ESXi host, up from the previous 10. Networking in PowerProtect Data Manager gets some enhancements as well, including options to change the default DNS search domain and configure additional DNS search domains. And IPv6 is supported now by the Data Manager Core, Application Agents and Virtual Machine Backups as well. Reporting and monitoring get updates as well. There's now an asset summary report that lets you see per workload and per asset details about what is protected and not protected within the data manager environment, and also changes or growth to protection levels over time across the different workloads. Additionally, there's now an asset jobs view that lets you see the protection jobs from a per asset perspective, which is really useful if you've got a large number of assets and you need to check the status for any individual asset within the environment. There are also a variety of new command line tool downloads available within Data Manager, covering VMware Cloud Foundation, VxRail, and even Kubernetes. And last, but not least, if you're using Cloud DR, those components are now automatically protected as part of the regular server DR jobs as well. And with that, the PowerProtect Data Manager instance has been updated from version 19.11 to version 19.12. Thanks for watching the demo. For more details on PowerProtect Data Manager and other Dell Technologies data protection products, be sure to check out my blog over at https nsrd.info slash blog. Thank you.